what up love fam coming at you from my room yeah you see some pictures back there that's pictures of me and my girl and us just being us and sappy and everything anyways so love fam here's my question to you today are you true to yourself or do you hide who you are to appease people that don't really care about you so the reason I say this okay by the way any music playing in the background I do not own the rights to just want to put that out there I do not own the rights to any of this music it's just what's on my TV right now um anyways back to what I was talking about sorry ADD kicking in once again Y'all gotta bear with me. Million tracks to go on when ADD kicks in. Um, so, the other day my daughter asked me, what is it best to be? Your true self or what someone wants you to be? And, you know, this is my seven-year-old asking me this question. And, as y'all can tell, I don't keep the traditional haircuts, you know. I'm not straight-laced. That's not me. That's not who I am. If that's who you think I was, then... <clears throat> sorry, gotta go. Uh, you know, I wear men's clothes because that's where I'm comfortable. That's what I like. That's my style. I keep men's haircuts because, once again, that's my style. I wear baseball caps. That's my style. Um, you know... My seven-year-old asking me this question really made me sit and wonder. What are we teaching our kids nowadays? Why are we teaching them that they have to be something they're not? Why is that okay that we should be teaching them that you're a nerd? So you can't be popular. Well, that's bullshit. And here's why I say that's bullshit. And I really don't care if people get offended. Because you know what? At the end of the day, it's not about whether I am making you happy. At the end of the day, all that matters is whether or not I'm happy with what I put out in the world. And at the end of the day, I am who I am. I am confident, bold, caring, loving. I'm anything you can think of, you know. But, yeah, like I said, yeah, you'll probably see those anytime I'm shooting in my room for now on. Um, but, you know, it's not okay that our children have to hide who they are because they're afraid to be who they are. And, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine. And her daughter asked the same thing, you know, mom, I don't want to be who I am because I'm afraid people won't like it. Stop buying me the outfits I ask you to buy me. Stop, you know, doing the things that we do. You know, it's, it's baffling that after centuries and years and millenniums and whatever else, you know, but by the generation that we have now, the kids that we're raising now, we should be able to let them be their self, express their self in any way, whether it's because they want a mohawk and wear a mohawk or because they want to dress like a boy because they like the shirts or pants or whatever the case is. Who the hell cares? You know, it, it's, it shouldn't be no longer up here. Well, you're a girl. So you have to wear a dress. You have to wear pink and frilly and froofy. Let me tell you what. My daughter is the complete opposite of me. I am straightly guy dressed. My daughter will wear men, uh, boys clothes. She will wear girls clothes. She will mix and match them. She'll wear boys pants with a girl's top. Girl top with boys pants. She wears hats. She won't wear hats. She'll wear bows. She won't wear bows. She wears headbands. She won't wear them. You know, she wears makeup. She don't wear makeup. She paints her nails. She don't paint her nails. It is, But, you know, going down a bunny slope. Sorry. 
once again, ADD kicking in, brain in overdrive. It just aggravates me that now we're having kids as young as seven going, well, mom, I can't wear that because, you know, it's boys pajamas or it's a boy's shirt or it's a boy's top or it's boy's pants. Why is it boys? Why can't it just be pants? Why can't it that my daughter likes to express herself wearing, you know, a skull and crossbones and, you know, cute little frilly skirt with the skull and crossbones? It aggravates me to the point that I kind of want to do something about it. And, like, you don't see skull and crossbones and girls closing. You don't see the dinosaurs or the sharks or cars or, you know, fire trucks and shit like that in girls' clothing. Because, no, they gotta be cute and fluffy animals. Like, oh my god. Anyways, sorry. When I get aggravated about stuff like that, I start doing different voices and everything. Anyways, I'd like to make a clothing line that expresses my daughter. And, you know, she likes, don't get me wrong, she loves My Little Pony. She loves, you know, Jojo Siwa. But at the same time, her favorite pajamas right now, she's got two sets of favorite pajamas the first set uh has a hammerhead shark on the shirt and on the back it says jawsome and it's got shark long pants and a pair of shorts that's one set of her pajamas she loves and then another set is purple and has a freaking unicorn cat on it that says meowgical like i said my kid is unique and i love watching her express herself through her clothing and the fact that she feels like she can't wear something because it's in the boys department or it's in the girls department and she can only wear girls department clothes but not boys department no i let my daughter choose her clothes and she will go to either section and be happy with whatever she picks out um you know it's better to be true to yourself to live who you are, to dress how you want to dress, to listen to the type of music that you want to listen to, to be who you want to be, to love who you want to love, to be true to yourself and stand up for what you believe in. And if somebody has a problem with that, then they're not meant for you to be friends or whatever. But if you can look past that and not just focus on that, but have someone see it from your point of view at where you're coming from where you've been how you've been what has happened to you your experiences if you can get someone to see the things that you have gone through to be who you are to be the person that you are today then that that is your job not to go, well, you know, you really shouldn't wear that because it comes from the men's department. Well, you know, I really don't have a flying fuck. You want to wear men's clothes? Go for it. You want to wear women's clothes? Go for it. I don't care. Be true to yourself. My seven-year-old should not have to come to me and ask me, can she be herself or does she have to be someone fake? My answer to that is always, 100%. Be true to yourself. Don't let no one tell you different. Don't let no one put you down. Don't let no one step on your dreams. Don't let no one tell you you're not worth it. Because I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter. And in fact, it shouldn't matter. And the fact that someone makes it seem like it matters... They have no clue. They don't get it. They don't understand. And you know what? I don't have time for people like that. I got too much going on in my life. I have a child that fights daily to stay alive because we have no idea what causes half her medical issues. But my daughter is a fighter. She's a survivor. I'm proud of her. She does excellent in school. And I couldn't ask for nothing more. 
but for her to try and be true to herself. And you know what? That's all I ever want for her is for her to be true to herself, be honest to herself, know who she is, know where she comes from, and know the fact that no matter what, she is loved 100%. And love fam, if you're on board, let me know. What's up, kiddo? Can this? Yeah, thank you. Oh. No, I'm playing. Can I cut out the 50% off? Because I'm using it because I'm using it for a store for my dolls. Yes. Yay. Thank You're you. welcome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my kid that just answered and left. Wanted to know if I was using something? Absolutely not. Just playing with her, by the way. Uh so yeah, that was my kid. Like tonight, she has her Jawsome shirt and she has a pair of old Shimmer and Shine pants on with little jewels. So, I mean, my kid is my kid. I love her. She's unique. And, you know, at the end of the day, I wouldn't trade her for anything in the world. Anyways, love fam. Comment, like, subscribe, share, hit the little notification if you want. That's up to you. All right, guys. Much love.